Welcome to This Won't Last Podcast. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you uh, out there in This Won't Podcast Land, uh, This Won't Last Podcast Land, uh, joining us because uh, we have a very special episode today in honor of Mother's Day. Hi, Mom. Uh, we're going to be doing a little draft for uh, Best Mums. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna pick our own individual perf- uh, preferences for mums, uh, fictional ones. Uh, so stick around for that. Otherwise, we're gonna you know, just kind of shoot the shit and talk about some news and whatnot. Uh, to my left is P Breezy. I ain't dead yet, motherfucker. <laughs> Getting there. Uh, to my right is D Easy the Mama Slim. Yeah, there we go. It's dark, isn't it? It's, it's something it's dark, isn't it? <laughs> Um, I got no verbal reason. Uh, and I am uh, Ryan. My maja? <laughs> your maja? My maja. No, no, your maja? What's your maja? Maja. Yeah, I'm Dutch. Hello, Sweet. mother. Hello, father. And I am Ryan. Be your mom. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, be on with your mom. Ryan, be on your mom. <laughs> uh, so. P. Breezy, how goes it today? It's all right. Just chilling. Go I right just there. thought about this. I hate to cut this off, but we should have had a Your Mama joke. We should have all picked the best Your Mama joke we know. Well, good thing we uh, did all that talking before the podcast. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Yo, Mama's so fat she sat on a quarter and squeezed a booger out of George Washington's nose. Your mama's so fat that every time I go around, I lose weight. I'm talking about walking around. Like walk, that walk, is, walk, walk. I mean, I get it, but it just, it's not, there's no punch to it. It's. I wasn't very, ready for this. I'm not a your mama. You brought it up. up. <laughs> I don't talk about people mama like that. You brown ass motherfucker. Paul, let's see you. Uh, let me see. Uh, sorry, I almost went really dark for a second. Let me just <laughs> Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, really did, really did. Uh, your mama is so dumb. When she heard Trump say, make America great again, she started buying stock in Kellogg's. <laughs> you dumb! Yeah, it was pretty weird. Just... And, and now they're on strike. <laughs> just so we know, when I said your mama, I wasn't talking about Miss Breeze. I'll get that. <laughs> um, your mama's so dumb, she thought a quarterback was a refund? Classic. Yep. Your mama's so black, when she spit, she spit at you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I ain't got no more. I don't like talking about people mamas. Yeah, I I keep going back to the one I can't say. (laughs) Might as well say it now. Nope. The only news I got today. I don't know what what news y'all got. The only news I got in our pre-Mother's Day special, in our pre-Cingo de Mayo special, in our pre-May the 4th special, is today is the 20th anniversary of the release of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Woo! We're recording on one. Tuesday, May 3rd. The first one. Yep. Um, so, like... so go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was only going to say, I mean, first of all, it's, I'll, I'll, I'll preamble this with, it's uh, fantastic timing, that being two days before the release of Sam Raimi's interest into the MCU. <laughs> um, but I mean, I'll, just, I'll just ask this question. Does it still stack up? I'll just finish say that. I'll just finish give my opinion. I think, I think I think we briefly mentioned it when we talked about uh, No Way Home. We, we did our, our re-rankings, and I think for most of us, I think it was still ranked pretty high. To me, I have to be real subjective on this, right? To me, that end shot, that's the best cinematic time. Just when the end, when he's flying like that, mm-hmm. and he's in the, on the American flag, to me, that is just... Beautiful cinematic, like the lighting, the coloring. Oh my goodness, it was just beautiful. It's iconic, um, especially because again, that was, I mean, a good turnaround because that was you know, seven months, 
eight months after 9-11. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I would say as far as swinging goes, uh, that was one of the few things they really got right in Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man? Yeah. You mean the Spider-Man? Andrew Garfield one? Yeah, Andrew Garfield. You mean Spider-Man? Oh, okay. His swinging was oh, okay, the okay, best swing, you, swing we've ever gotten. I get you saying. I get you saying. Um, I mean, I love the scene in No Way Home and the end of uh, Far From Home with the swinging with MJ. But what they did with Garfield in the Amazing Spider-Man series with swinging, it's great. I get what you're saying. Um, yeah, it still holds up. I mean, especially, again, like for when it was made, when, like I, again, they still weren't really taking superhero movies seriously. Yeah. And you bring in a great cast, a story director, and dropping some decent money on it. I mean, you know, some CG obviously uh, didn't doesn't stand the test time. Of course. Well, some of that CG was rushed even for the time. Yeah, oh, 100 percent. Again, this is like you know one of Sony's like first major movies once they took over uh, uh, Columbia. Well, for me, the story was still good. The, the story that it told, Uncle Ben, um, you know, like the whole idea of great responsibility, great powers come great responsibilities. I learned that, man. I'm just saying, if I ever save somebody, it's gonna, I'm just going to be saying, hey, great responsibilities. Well, I, I, I only say from my personal experience, when I think back to, the, to, to that, to that uh, same movie trilogy, most of my fond memories come from the second film. Yeah. I constantly forget how great that end fight was between Goblin and Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Like how visceral it was. Yeah, it was. How much, how much Peter just got the fuck, went, got taken to the brick oven. Yep. Like any, any other superhero would have been fucking done. Y'all do know that's my favorite villain of all time. Mm. And, and that's living in a world with, uh, what's it called in it? To be Jordan. Well, well, Michael, Jordan. <laughs> Michael Buff. Michael Buff. And to me, he's just... Where the fuck? Well, because again, he's a great actor. And again, he played it so well. Because yeah. again, he he understood it and he took it seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, again, like, you know, five years earlier with... Or three five years earlier with fucking Schwarzenegger and Uma Thurman. Yeah. Like, they took it actually seriously. Like, he played a dual role. He mm-hmm. played Norman Osborn and the Goblin. And something about like that that performance, uh, especially in like the one scene where he's like talking to himself, and he like literally like he hands himself a newspaper, and like you fucking believe that shit, like no, he's just a kid. <laughs> yeah, he's just, a kid. You know? he's just you literally believe that he's just battling with himself, For real. Like yeah, I don't know. I, and, you know the thing is, uh, I'm something of a film critic myself. And I would say that this is definitely a top tier film. Uh, always has been, always will be. Stands the test of time. Uh, if nothing else, because of the fact that, like you were talking about, the with great power comes great responsibility. The the story with Uncle Ben and everything, mm-hmm. it is very timeless. Mm-hmm. Like they approach it in a way that, like, no matter how far in the future it goes, you can relate to it. Mm. And I don't think that they dated it a whole lot. By, like, adding in too much, like, modern technology and things like that into, like... No, no. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say, out, again, like, specifically outside of a few CG moments and choices, and, I mean, if I'm being perfectly honest, what the scene you talked about, the flag scene at the end, that was added in specifically because of 9-11. Yep. But, again, that is more about context. That specifically doesn't doesn't date it. Well, what I'm saying is more or less just the beauty of it. I oh, no, no, no. I, 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 I completely agree. I completely agree. Again, like, for me, beauty was I, I, I understand why it was added. Um, yeah, I mean, again, it's evergreen. It's, it, it was telling a classic Spider-Man story. Yep. It wasn't meant to be like, oh, hey, we have this technology, so let's do this. You know, again, like, I mean, I don't, I don't even remember any of them even using a cell phone. No. So I think I'm different, right, than than, than y'all. All right, so for me, the mo- the thing that dates it the most is Macy Gray. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I try to say goodbye. And she didn't even do that song. Girl. She didn't even do that song. Well, well, <laughs> good. good thing she didn't actually. Yeah, yeah. I think it was just her just being a singer. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. us we we know, but like I think for 
a younger person watching, they obviously they have no idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for me, I love a good nature character, right? I love a superhero that's going that that believes in the whole being a good guy, trying to do the right thing, trying to be a hero. And to me, this Spider Man series and the next one as well, the Amazing Spider, both of them, Peter Parker was the everyday hero that we deserved. You know, that even if the movies was they they was heroes, right? They believe in doing the right thing. They had the triumph against evil and I love that 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 tug with good versus evil. I and that's one thing I love about the third movie but in all of them is 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 when he put that suit on and everything and he's fighting himself. You get what I'm saying in in, in a way when when he got the black suit with with the I don't know what that thing called Symbiote? Yeah, but was it? It wasn't a Venom symbiote, was it? Yes, it was. Really? Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, at that point, it's just called the symbiote. It doesn't become Venom until Brock takes over. Hold on. And then it. Other well, things happen. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm just saying, to me, in, in the Spider Man series, you know, uh, you had heroes being heroes. And I like that wanting to be good natured to be good natured. I felt like. After that, Iron Man came, and it was more about he just wanted to be a good hero because he had messed up. He's seen his ways, you know what I mean? Well, and I, I really hate to take it back to uh, 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 um, your boy Willem and, and his portrayal as Norman Osborn, but it's one of the few times in any of the Spider-Man movies uh, where I feel like you had a villain that was trying to to really like fight for his soul, mm. fight for the, the the soul of Spider-Man, to really bring him to his side. Mm. He didn't just want to, you know, end him. He wanted him to understand that like it's the opposite of Uncle Ben. Uh, uh, to 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 from his perspective, yeah. his great power allows him to do whatever he wants. Kind of like in the Batman, the just recent Batman movie, Be- because everyone's gonna hate him. Yeah, because everyone's gonna be against him. And that's what I think really really makes it a great movie is that like you have these diametrically opposed views of the hero and the villain like and by default neither one of them is really right but the fact that like the way they believe and the way that they do things and ultimately the outcome that that happens when if the green goblin gets his way is people die yeah. So that's why he becomes an actual villain instead of just like, you know, okay, I really want to make uh, lizard people. Would y'all date a superhero? Like, do we know that they're superheroes? Huh? Do we know that they're superheroes? Yeah. Well, if you knew she was a superhero, would you date her? She got a booty? <laughs> <laughs> I, I suppose so. Come look at the thing. Like, I, I didn't really like MJ in this, man. I did not like MJ in this series, man. So... Again, that and a lot of that, I, 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 I've heard mixed things about it. Again, maybe I'm just misremembering some stuff. Uh, part of that was, I think, as a, as a group, they never really nailed down MJ. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were trying to go for more of a, it, especially in the second and third one, it became more of a damsel in distress as opposed to like the strong willed Mary Jane we knew in the comics. Yep. Um, because it was, they, I, I don't know, again, I don't know if that was the same oh, Raimi not so having. Naggy, bro. It's just so naggy. Well, I, I, again, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, Sam Raimi doesn't have a history of, like, strong female characters. <laughs> um, and it's not because he's made bad ones. Like, he just hasn't had that many female characters in his, in his, in his, in his, in his properties. Other than, like, you know, the girlfriend the of, huh? Quick in the Dead. Um, see if can do it. Quick in the Dead? It's one of his best movies. Sharon Stone is a... Sharon Stone, Gene Hackman, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a western. No, no. I mean, it has two strikes for me: Sharon Stone and a western. So, <laughs> it's like a great movie. Okay, you need to see it. I won't. I know you won't. It'll change your it'll change your worldview, so you won't you won't look at it. I won't. That's funny. Uh, no, but I just I, I think. The, the current the, the current um, what you call it MJ I like her 
Oh, she's just good. She's, she's a good she's actress. She's a writer, yeah. bro. No, I'm talking about the character. I ain't talking about the actress. I'm talking about the character. She's a writer. She was like, well, I can't go to what you call it because I did you. I got you back. I love you. You're going to do this. I like that. This one was like, but you haven't seen my show. Uh, this well, thing's saving the well, world. It was, it was right, but the problem was that she didn't know any of that stuff. So she really, didn't know. No, she didn't. Uh, so from his persp- from her perspective, he just keeps bailing on her. Yeah, she doesn't find out he's Spider-Man. She, don't find out she nope. doesn't she doesn't find he's uh, Spider-Man until the end of number two. Oh. She has, she has an inkling. <laughs> so, she knew. Okay, nope, not so, until the end of two. So at the end of number one, he has, she has, like, there's that moment where you're like, oh, she gets it. But no, apparently she's just too dumb to get it. I thought she knew at the end of one. No, when, he, when he walks away, she's like, after, after they kiss, she's like, like, you see her eyes and you're like, yeah, oh, she got it. And the yeah, second like, one's like, oh, kissed, man. You, no, this bitch don't get shit. Like, this bitch don't get shit. I mean, like, I'm glad that she didn't, like, just get it from being kissed by him. Oh, I have no problem with that. I just but like, again, like that the, would just be dumb. <laughs> but again, the reaction is the, 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 the reaction she has is that she realizes that Spider Man, which is a dumb reaction. So it could be that she realizes that Spider Man, or could it just be that like she realized there was something in Peter that she never really saw. I don't think so because she's the one who's who, she, she's already feeling it. She, she's the one who initiates I who initiates it. He's trying to stay away. He's like, I don't want to, I, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm not about, like, I, I don't want to, I want to keep you safe. So I'm going to stay away from this. And she's like, no, like, let's, I, there's something here. I want to see it. Yep. And she kisses him and she's, she's like, she's really, and he's like, oh, I didn't feel anything. And he walks away. And she's like, <laughs> and like, like, it comes together a, a, allegedly, but obviously not. So, I mean, maybe she just, maybe she just, maybe she just don't. Oh, maybe she not. just reacts weird to things. That's possible too. <laughs> I need you, you, know, you, you know how white girl's going to be. <laughs> But that's a good question. Like, would you be, uh, would you be with a, a superhero who like uh, they're saving the world? Yeah, I guess. Like, what kind of a superhero? Spider Man, like Spider Lady, or like, well, someone. Like, uh, so that, someone's riding around Naples. <laughs> so that question rides the line of like, would you date a cop, or yeah. would you date somebody who makes more money than you, like? Again, like I understand the main thing I understand. Some of you have stuff you don't. How much more does she make? Can we get like a nice big place and I can have my garden and I can like do my own stuff? <laughs> Hell yeah! I mean, statistically, most your money, our money now. <laughs> Hell yeah. um, I mean, again, like I, 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 so. Uh, <laughs> Fresh vegetables now, out of the garden every every night. Is your question night. coming from a place of fear or pride? Because I feel like your question is coming from a place of pride. Not pride, like uh, not. It, it's more or less like knowing she's gonna miss a lot. I mean, I'm probably gonna miss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all on y'all wedding day, she's coming at the last one. I think that'd be kind of cool though. Just just elope, it's fine. Yeah. See, it's different for a dude. You elope. I feel like it's different for us because, like, we really don't care. We're like, we, you know, man, like, are you okay? You know, you plenty of guys that can't really care about weddings, but, um, I, 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 mean, I, I mean, obviously it comes down to the individual. Me, personally, I, I have no problem with dating a superhero. Are we supposed to care about weddings? I thought we were just supposed to show up. You can care about what you don't care about, dude. You should make sure that they happen well. There's a lot of things you can... Like, pay for but, it or something like that? It's entirely up to you. I mean, again, like there's, there's a lot of things you care about that I, I couldn't give a shit less about. So, well, I mean, in the, general weddings, I mean, I'm talking about in general. It's, like, it's not so much that you shouldn't care about it. I it's don't that have a lot of weddings in my community. It should be for her. That's what I thought. Like, right. Support, but like, it's not that you don't care about it. It's just that, like, if you're like, oh, well, she wants, you know, buttercream frosting with a. Uh, a a vanilla cake with you know buttercream. You, you don't go, yeah, exactly. You don't you don't jump in there and go, ew, buttercream. Nah, you go, yeah, baby, we got buttercream. That's uh, a deal breaker. I'll fucking walk. Okay, I know buttercream. buttercream. I thought buttercream. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Paul. I feel like there's a lot more deal breakers for you than just the buttercream. I had an experience. So you I want fish and up. chicken? <laughs> My only thing would be like, oh, you the budget. Budget, that's all I would say. I don't care what else she do. Uh, yeah, pretty much. The more money I make, the more budget she have. But I was always taught that the wedding is for them. 
It is. It's traditionally yes. Only thing, only thing I don't think I want to pick is like who pick who gonna be up there with me. Yeah, you can get through that. Like, huh? Who's your best man? Who's your? That's it. That's all I want to pick. I don't <laughs> want to pick no flowers and all. I don't care nothing about that. Maybe the pastor. Well, yeah, and that's basically it. Is like you're not you're not supposed to pick any of that stuff. You're supposed to find out what she wants yeah. and make it happen. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, this tastes good. Yeah. Oh, that tastes good too. I don't care. Yeah, baby, I like it. Just no butter cake. Her part on butter cake. I had a bad experience. At my wedding, we can't have butter cream for this nigga. <laughs> Whenever I smell Paul gets butter- a Paul gets a cupcake with cream cheese frosting. <laughs> Whenever I smell buttercream, my eyes glaze over and I have I, I I get like I feel claustrophobic. Well at my wedding, bro, I'm gonna have me and my wife okay, and Karen. I'll everybody else cake and then we're gonna have your little cake over there. I got you. You can just keep the cake for me. I'll stick to the tequila. I'm good. As long as you have tequila in the open bar, I'm good. Speaking of bar, Ryan, what are you drinking? That's a good question, D. Yeah, I am. You said pork and beans. No. Uh, <laughs> it says, don't poke the bear. Oh, okay. Uh, and it is a blonde ale with honey. Uh, it is, it's a double blonde ale with honey. It is 8% alcohol by volume. It is from uh, some kind of brewer. <laughs> Got a picture of a marlin on it. It's a Florida brewer. I don't know where the fucking thing is on it. But anyways, called Don't Poke the Bear. Don't Haven't had it yet. It smells nice. It smells less honey, more almost like like jam. Tastes like a blonde ale with honey. Mm. Hmm? What are you drinking, D? I had a protein shake earlier, just few before the podcast started. What was his and name? Now, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. yeah, not bad. And now I'm drinking the Eternal Waters naturally alkaline alkaline spring water. Eternal water. Where's this from, bro? I don't know where Eternal come from. Heavens. Mm-hmm. Is it from the heavens? But have you had the artificial alkaline water? <laughs> Rigel Seven. Is that, is that Smoky Mountain, Tennessee? Is, is that Stephen Hills? <laughs> It's a sunny. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That the sunny and Aquafina. <laughs> yeah, I guess legally in some areas the sunny isn't called the water or so. Paulito, what are you drinking? Sour monkey motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So I, so I found for the, for the first time in my my life, I found a twelve pack. Nice. Doing work on it, son. Doing work on it. This dude got gangster over some sour. Yeah, uh, I fucked up and drank a bunch of tequila and I keep forgetting to buy more. Um <laughs> I apparently drank most of the vodka, so the other day I had to fuck around and have a, uh, a whipped vodka, <laughs> uh, whipped flavored vodka with uh, club soda and lime juice. It was like a weird key lime pie kind of mix. <laughs> it wasn't great. It wasn't bad. I finished it. I love key but it wasn't lime. what I was looking for. I love some key lime pie. I definitely would have added maybe like a, a, a squirt of uh, um, simple syrup or something to that. Uh, I was already a few rounds in. Wasn't yeah. working. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite Mother's Day, Mother's Day memory. Go, Ryan. What? <laughs> Favorite Mother's Day memory. Go. Um, I don't know. Like, it's just like it's nice to you know give my mom a present that she likes. So like every now and again I'll do like the uh, uh, I do like basket thing where I give her like chocolates and coffee and things like that. So those are nice memories. I don't know if I have like a specific memory. Pass. <laughs> Favorite gift that you gave her? Pass. Really? I don't remember any of that shit. Yeah. I remember. You know who you're talking to, right? About the holiday you're talking about? <laughs> I remember my favorite easy. But see, I had, I had one woman as my mama. So, I was lucky. So, if you uh, are looking for some tequila, in Ibotta, Espelona has a 450 back coupon. It's possible. Mm-hmm. That's possible. Okay, tequila. Go ahead. So, talk quick. My mom getting kindergarten. Kindergarten old. Same my brother was always locked up. We surprised him. He come home early. I mean, he come home 
She didn't expect him to come home. Boom. I had set up barbecue, all the family over. She had time of her life. All three of her kids was home at one time. Best Mother's Day ever. And we didn't give her nothing. Because my mama was the type that didn't like stuff. Like, she liked it, like, women stuff, like, the emotional stuff, like, us being there, uh, you know, family stuff, and she didn't like gifts. But I was on that grill that year, my first time ever on the grill, because she was the griller in the family, and I had been picking up stuff from her and everything, and I was on that grill, and everybody enjoyed my meat. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> That's why it was so memorable. <laughs> Everybody had their, your meat in their mouth and, and were enjoying it thoroughly. <laughs> Bro, as soon as I said that, I couldn't take it back. It was out there in the atmosphere, but I couldn't grab it. I was like, no, no, no. Oh. Yeah, your meat was out there. It was too <laughs> you, late. Just, you couldn't take it back. Had your meat hanging out there. It's all your meat, now it's our meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think, to, um, to on the real though, I think before we get into this uh, conversation about the mother's drive, I really think, man, that mothers, man, my mom was so amazing. She was so great. And I, and I, a lot of this hindsight is, okay, she's gone. But on the real though, like when she was here, like that was my best friend. Like I remember literally having my own apartment. And she always kept three bedrooms for me, my brother, and my sister, even though we had our own place. And I remember there were times, like, most of the time I just sleep at her house. I go to my house just to check on everything, just see everything to that. <laughs> so I don't know, man. My mom was my best friend. So this day is always sentimental for me and everything, and this is, like, one of my favorite holidays. But the best thing my mom did was she didn't teach me how to be a man. She pointed me to people that could. And I love that. She said, I ain't no man, so I can't teach you how to be a man. But my daddy can. My brother can. So it's forced me to have relationships with them. Which is pretty cool. Because my grandpa is my favorite. All right. Maybe here, man. Maybe here for you. Hmm? I don't know. Yeah, man. My, my, my situation was different. We, we were so detached, detached from the rest of the family. I mean, even when, even when we had family like on the same coast, we just never really saw each other. Yeah. I got cousins over over over, over in Broward. I, I've only seen like three times ever. You got cousins in Florida? Yeah. I didn't even know you had cousins. You didn't even talk about your cousins. We, I don't know anything about them. The last time I saw one of them was we went to a Marlins game for my dad's birthday forever ago. And she went from being like a really sweet, like, you know, little girl to being like kind of like more emo, more <laughs> like edgelord. Um, and I said, we just sound, we were never close. I mean, I got, the, 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 the Breezes are not a close family. Mm. We're spread out around the country and we just, we just, I, no. We is what we is. It's on your dad's side, right? Both. No, I'm talking about the ones in Miami. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any close cousins, like, from your mom's side down this way? No, the clo- the only ones that are left are in uh, North Carolina. All righty. So, big weekend. We got Mother's Day. We have another mom event. Mm-hmm. Multiverse of Madness. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Please, <laughs> so we ain't got time to do any, to, she gonna do to do any predictions. So we'll just move on to the draft. Oh, wait, no. I, I, I want to know one nope. question. Yeah. One question. Talk fast. Over, under 250 this week. 250? Box office. Box office. Worldwide? Yes. Mm. Over. Over. Mainly because of... <laughs> Sorry. It's the wrong so you forgot how phones work. So... Yeah, because there's nothing outside right now. So I think it has a strong chance. Mm. Uh, even when it gets a mediocre, like, there's been a lot of mediocre reviews already about it. Um, but I think it'll, yeah, I think I think easily 250 because there's nothing else out. I mean, I, I I got tickets today and a bunch of showings were either full or almost full. So I think, and, we just, and Naples is notoriously bad with that stuff. Like, oh. seats are available, like, almost up to oh, the last minute. Yeah. Like, they don't, they do not sell out except for, like, major events. Uh, it's got a strong chance. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think maybe it won't break any records, but opening week because what did, what did Spider Man do opening week? Wasn't three? Maybe around four. I forget. It did a good amount. It won't it won't it won't do as much as that. One hundred percent. But I think two fifty worldwide. 
My only question is, where is it opening world worldwide? Yeah, like, it's trying to not evolve. Well, and even that, because again, like, because because Spider Man still hasn't been released in, in China. Yeah, that's right. Because they won't make the, the changes China wants, so they won't so they won't release it. So, uh, No Way Home scored the second biggest domestic opening of all time with two hundred sixty point one million. Hmm. After Avengers Endgame, three hundred fifty seven point one million. Yeah. Yeah, and again, that's not counting worldwide. So I mean, it's probably it's probably it's probably an extra hundred right there for worldwide. I'm gonna go for I'm almost hundred. I'm gonna go back two two five two 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 fifteen somewhere there. If we're looking at worldwide, I think two fifty. I think it'll be close. It'll be really close. But I'm gonna say just over. Over under two fifty. It's gonna be eleven billion dollars. Melted. Uh, obviously, this being the time of year, uh, I doubt it will do anywhere near the numbers that uh, No Way Home did. Uh, just because, you know, that was a holiday movie that was like one of the first big releases post pandemic. Uh, so under, under, okay. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do under, but around like 250. That being said, they're doing a great job of building up the hype with a lot of the, 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 the leaks, quote unquote. Yeah. Leaks. And then two trailers this week. Yep. The last week and a half. Yeah, man, you was hanging out the other day. They were like, oh, that's a, that's another trailer. Yeah, they started showing more <laughs> Stranges. They started, they showed spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. If not Sharon Carter's shield, Captain Britain's shield. That's yeah. true. Like, yeah. they're showing yeah. more and more. They finally showed the, the with, armrest. With some kind from, of a, uh, from, 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 from Xavier 92. Yep. With some kind of a jetpack she has. Elite. Yep. Elite. <laughs> All right. Mama time. So. Real quick, I know we said we weren't going to do any any uh, 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 theories or whatever, but we already have nailed down four of the Illuminati. Who do we think are maybe the other uh, two? It's about six people. Um, there's no time. There's no time. You don't know that, but who are the four they, they've confirmed? For sure, Mordo is one of them. Okay. Uh, then uh, Monica Rambo or uh, Maria Rambo. Uh, then Professor X, uh, if he is Professor X, uh, and then um, last one being uh, Cap- uh, Captain Carter. See, those two those don't make sense to me. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I think it'll probably be some combination of the actual Illuminati. Um, pr- they may test the waters and pick one of the um, cast of Wakanda forever and see if one of see, have one of them suit up as uh, Black Panther. Uh, I think we'll. I think there's a strong chance we'll see a version of Reed Richards I thought you were or Namer. Say, yeah, I was gonna say. I thought you were gonna say Test of Waters with uh, Namer. Well, I think Namer for sure. We'll we'll probably get a Namer. Um, I, I don't know. I will, or they may just keep the other ones in the shadows, possibly. But I mean, yeah, I think there's a good chance of seeing probably just key members of like the main Illuminati team. Solid chance of that. I don't have any takes so. though. Perfect. All right, Mom dress. Keep it fast and sweet. All right. Four rounds. You have to pick at least... This is only for fictional moms. Yep. No real-ass moms. Mm-hmm. Fictional moms. And again, if you... I want to say if you pick one, we can't. you can't pick another version of that same one. So if you say like a uh, mom version... Uh, like Will Smith, I mean, the uh, Fresh Pimp Mom. You can't get the second version of her. Y- yes. I mean, although I'll say more specifically, like if you were going to get like Invisible Woman, like you couldn't say like Invisible Woman from... Like the Jessica Alba version, and then um, try to get like another version, from, like the cartoon, or if there's a better. I mean, I can't think of a better version though because my brain immediately went to Elastic Girl. But um, she thick, she dummy thick. <laughs> <laughs> thick are for real. They doing things right. They doing things right. Anyways, one live action fictional mom and one animated uh, fictional mom. And with that, the 2022 Mom's Day Draft. The first pick goes to... All right, let's listen. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like being first. I don't like being first. Call. That would be funny. Ryan, it came close again. It came close again. 
Go ahead. Uh, I call shenanigans because of that. Paul should have just gone first. <laughs> I'll go first. Come on, I'll go first. I just I, I want to think collusion, so I'll go first if y'all want. Go first. I'm go gonna first. go first. All right. Get this bad boy off. Oof. This is this is this is rough. This is rough. Go. I got my cheat sheets. I'm ready to go. Uh, I think Dr. already knows one of the ones I'm gonna take, so I'm not gonna say that one yet. I'll see if he takes it. So I think he's a pretty strong taste chance. He's gonna take it. Controversial pick. Right out the gate. No, not hold off the controversial pick. Um, I'm gonna. T- <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I already said it. No. First pick in the mom draft. I'm taking Mallory Archer. Really? That high? Mallory Archer. Wow, first overall. She runs a spy organization. It's not good, but she runs one. Duchess. Oh, she's a gangster. Gangster behind the scenes. You want to animate mom first? At least one. Let's go. Let's go. You're next. Uh, Are we going? Are we going? Are we just going? uh... Might as well go to Ryan because he got picked next. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, pick pick you next. Go ahead. Okay. So, not controversial. I think uh, most of you probably see where I'm going with this one immediately. Uh, I'm going to go live action. Kitty Foreman. Yeah, that's a really good one for a couple times today. I was pretty sure, yeah, I was pretty sure you did that. Uh, if, if nothing else, just because of the fact that she reminds me so much of my own mother. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Mm-hmm. Red. Mm-hmm. All right, D. So I'm going to get it animated out of the way. And I think this mom is the most iconic mom in life in the animated world. Mars Simpson. Yeah, it's all coming. It's all got to go to Mars. <laughs> the hair is amazing. Yep. Got a nice little body. She's <laughs> like big boys. <laughs> 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 right. She take a lot. She take a lot. Yeah, Mars. she do. She take a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Snake drafty. Oh, go Going back. Again. I think y'all. I don't know. Go there. Just do it, D. I know you want it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Take it. If you don't. If you don't, I'm taking it. So. I'm gonna go with here. This this is gonna be at the left field, and I kind of want to shake things up. <laughs> uh, I don't know her name. Perfect cert. Yep. But Precious Mom from the movie Precious Monique character Mom. Okay. She was gangster. She was gangster. I need that in my life. Mean, good for nothing. Ain't nothing good about her. That's what you need as I far as a mom. <laughs> All right. Set me straight. All right. Ryan B. Uh, so have? speaking of gangster, but uh, in a more traditional sense, uh, I'm going to go with uh, uh, Son Chichi uh, from Dragon Ball. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, she didn't put up with a whole lot of Goku shit, uh, and she made sure that uh, Gohan got to school and did, did everything. She went toe-to-toe. With the strongest creature in the universe, <laughs> and got her way. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a mother. The elite. Mm-hmm. That's elite. a bad mother. Shit <laughs> you right. You better not hate. Not. First of all, I'll give you. Two, I'm gonna give you. You know, what, I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give you one more round chance. No, cause like I'm gonna give you one more fair. round chance. Go ahead, do do what you got. No, I, I, no, no, because I have other ones I want. I'll, I'll play. I'll play Mercy. Because you know what? I want. I want. The, I want. I want a fucking goon squad. I want a mom who's gonna get some shit done. Goon squad, mom. I want a mom who's gonna get some shit done. All right, gonna, It ain't pretty. Which it ain't pretty, but it's gotta get done to take care of her kids. I'm taking Mrs. Gump. Who was that? Forrest's mama? Forrest's mama. Oh, Mrs. Gump. Mm-hmm. Oh, Forrest Gump. I'm far, far Gump. You know what I like about her, bro? She gonna do what she gotta do for her kids, That's right. bro. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> fuck that doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, you see a young Sally Fields? Yeah. Ooh, elite. Eat flying nun? Shh. Yeah. Now, we can't pick her as like, like Mrs. Dalfire, the, the mommy and Mrs. Dalfire, like, we can't pick her like Yeah, that. you can't pick her that as Okay. Or as uh, Aunt May. Yeah. But she ain't got no kids as Aunt May. I mean, she's a mom. She's but basically she's Peter's mom. mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, we're, the question was asked beforehand. Yeah, I got it. A mother isn't, isn't defined by birth. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's by actions. That's true. Uh, <laughs> 
for my third round pick. <laughs> I got a... This is just for me. This is just for funsies. Um, I don't know her name. <laughs> because I only know her... I only know her by her real name. Um... <clears throat> This is this is my dark horse pick. I mean, you already know this is coming. Uh, I'm taking some of Hack's character from Grown Ups. <laughs> I don't know what name. Yeah, we do that. We do. We do. I have mine. Try to go there. That's, that's why it. I wasn't trying to go there. Cause I, that, that's fair. I mean, alternatively, I suppose I could. Nah, I think it'd be too much of a stretch to say her, her say her character from uh, Eternals, but. She was looking good in Grown Ups. She was looking good in Grown Ups. I'll skip some rounds tonight, you know what I'm saying? Ryan Murphy. Oh, all right. Well, so. Uh, Ryan Murphy. Ryan Murphy. Ryan Murphy. Well, so uh, Round three. Going, going on, on your, your, your tip earlier about talking about, you know, being a mom doesn't necessarily mean birth. And we live in a modern age, you know, where anyone can be what they want to be, regardless of gender. Uh Right. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Michael Keaton from the movie Mr. Mom. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, during the 1980s recession, automobile engineer, automobile engineer Jack is fired from his job when his wife Carolyn finds a job before he does. They switch roles, placing him in an unfamiliar position of homemaker and caretaker to their three children. Hmm. Totally fits. Feels like cheating, but I'll allow it. <laughs> it's fine. I'll allow it. I, I have no. I can't. I'm not arguing against it. So, well, if we doing that. If we doing that, do 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 do. I'm taking Mrs. Doubtfire. But that was more of a nanny that was a mom. But it was his kid. Uh, okay, I, I take that back. Then, yeah. Take the one you want to take. I take, <laughs> take the one you want to take. I'm gonna go with Rainbow Johnson from Blackish. Fine, funny, and Who's I'm in love with it? Uh, Rainbow Johnson. Rainbow Johnson. Yeah, sir. And I'm in love with Tracy's Ellis. Tracy Ellis Ross. Bro, do you see her pictures on? She posts on the ground. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh yeah, bro. She got she got that pound. Bro, she don't got cake, bro. She got that that butter <laughs> that buttery cake. <laughs> She had that kilogram cake. Uh, well, yeah, she's like, I know her real name, but I didn't know her character. I haven't, I haven't been watching those bloggers. Rainbow Johnson. Last pick, T. You, 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 you pulling the trigger on that? I want to so bad. Do but it. I feel like it's expected, so I kind of don't want to do it. If, take I got it, a man. nice runner-up, though. Oh, hold up. Okay, no, you good. You good. I got a nice runner-up. Take whatever you want. Take whatever you want. The runner-up was Peggy. Bundy? Yeah. That was on my list. That was Peg. That That's was my runner up. But I'm gonna go ahead and take her. Thank you. No, Are no, you sure? no, 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 no. I say that was my runner up. Say the words, D. Say Claire the words. Huxtable. Claire Oh, that wasn't what I was thinking of. <laughs> Who was you thinking of? On Viv. On Viv? Over Claire Huxtable? A hundred percent. You out your mind. You must be crazy. Claire Claire Huxtable, on Viv over Claire Huxtable. Claire Huxtable was a lawyer, so my mama got money. She was fine, so my mama got a man. <laughs> Bro, she was everything a mama. She was everything you wanted as a mom. Do you remember Unviv? I'm, I, I, you feel you seem confused right now. I do remember Unviv. You Viv. seem confused. I do remember Unviv, but Unviv was too. And you know what? Yeah, because she was a working mother, just like just like her husband. That's why Theo's so fucked up. That boy was retarded. Theo worked for the soup company. He came up with the slogan, we not just soup. (laughs) You proved my point, D. You proved my own point. I'm a powerful activist. Can dance. Can dance. But thank you, I can't have two mamas, man. I just can't do it. I two mamas, bro. Did she go from like dark skin to light skin? Nah, we ain't doing that. You only need one. First of all, we only count one. We only count one. Which which one we count? The real on Viv. <laughs> that was the same logic why I didn't go with the um, Harriet. <laughs> same logic. <laughs> All right, Ryan B. Finish I it up. With Gina, Fourth pick. Well, you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. When he was talking about uh, Peggy, 
Like Peggy Bundy. I, I don't, for a second there, I thought maybe you were going to talk about Peggy Hill. <laughs> lots of lots of moms still out there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a lot of moms still out there. Uh, so what I'm going to do, you know, I think on that tip, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with Genova from Final Fantasy VII. No. Uh, she was an alien from the sky who provided the genetic material to create Sephiroth, the perfect soldier. <laughs> 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 bad man, Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> Dead ass. I was fully expecting you to go with either Lois for Family Guy. Look, see, I was going to go with Marge, but he took her. <sighs> or one that I might pick. It's all. It's my list. Is I was, I was curious to see if you were going to take it. Wanda Maximoff. I was really thinking about it. I was really thinking about I it. I kind of thought about it. I was like, if this was like a throwdown, I was like, oh yeah, picking her. Oh, 100%. <laughs> like, 100%. That's your so, powerhouse right there. Underrated person. I thought about Lois too. But I feel like, you know, you know I'm on the only one to do one TV mom. I only want to do it. And I thought there would be no iconic mom in uh, Marge. She's the first. You pick Claire Huxley. Huh? You I said one TV. T- I thought, I mean. Animated. I mean, I animated. Okay. I mean, animated. You're like one TV mom. I'm like. Didn't you pick all TV moms? I'm not an animated. <laughs> no, um, Monique was from the movie. Mm-hmm. That was your wild card. My wild card is Michael Keaton. Mm-hmm. My wild card is Michael Keaton. <laughs> legit, <laughs> legit, I was going to go with the Dalfire mama. I legit was going with the Dalfire mama. That's why, like, that's why the, I said the actual mom. Like, a- <laughs> <laughs> like the da- the Dalfire, like. Con- considering Robin Williams as the mom is a toss up though. He meant some of uh, or some uh, uh, Sally Fields. Fields. Sally yeah. Fields. yeah. It would be an interesting have a two, if two you want to do a trade. Let me see another dark horse of mine, but I ain't go with the Home Alone mom. I don't want to be left alone. But she just did that. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted a good mama. <laughs> whether, whether it took them way too long. First of all, if you're going to say one of her characters as a mom, go with uh, Shit's Creek. I can see that. You should. Anyways, man, do I want to go joke? Do I want to go weird? Do I want to go, like, you know, finish the job? Let's do it, eh? I'm bouncing between three right now. And the third one ain't none of y'all, y'all, none of y'all care about. Mm-hmm. But if I'm on pure power, Wanda Maxwell is a solid choice. Mm-hmm. I feel wrong because it's, you know, because her parent, her kids got killed. Um, <laughs> she knew good mom. Elastic her, her kids were apparently a, a portion of uh, the devil's soul. <laughs> Elastic girl, dummy thick. Yeah, she, she dummy thick. Thick. Uh, I, she can twerk like no other. I got too many white girls already. That's the thing. I wanted to bring in a, like a, a, a mixture of mom. Yeah, a momster. <laughs> that being said, too, part of me wants to go with Big Mom from One Piece. But that bitch got like fifty, like eighty kids. I can't deal with that. That's too much. And like six of them, I want to bang. So that's a messy. That's a messy. <laughs> bang my sister. <laughs> so, oh man, you know what? I'm not going with it. Fuck it. I'm going. I'm going with Aviv. I'm going with Aviv. Mm, mm, nice. Mm. Solid choice. Solid, but I got was one. I got to be honest with you. Between Wanda huh? and Aunt Viv, I'd probably go Aviv. Which one, dark skin or light skin? <laughs> <laughs> it happened. We already had this conversation. It happened. Hey, it did happen. I don't acknowledge the second one. <laughs> I'm aware she exists. I don't acknowledge it. So, final picks. Now let me ask before you say the final picks. Watch it. This final pick. So for me, I got Mallory Archer, Mrs. Gump, Simon Hayek from Grown Ups, and Aunt Viv. The first for 1.0. <laughs> Ryan, Kitty Foreman. Son Chichi, Michael Keaton, and Genova from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Yo. Ryan, or the, D got the, the Mars Simpson, Precious, Mo- Precious, <laughs> Precious's mom, Rainbow Johnson, and Claire Huxtable. Yeah. I will say this. Do you guys want to have one supplemental round to switch one out? Like, oh, a, like, 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 a, like, a, like a fifth mom? Well, you pick another one, but you switch out one of the ones you already got. I'm good. I will. I'll okay. Um, right now? Yeah. Okay, so, I feel like I, it's blacker than what I thought. I need to get some more colors in my mom. and can take, take one of them out. I'm going to take out Precious Mama, because it didn't hit like I wanted to hit. <laughs> for yourself? <laughs> it's for me. <laughs> so, I'm going to take that one out. 
Okay. Then I want to go with. I'm gonna put Samina. I don't have any Spanish repetition in repetition. It's in oh, it's in the movie. Okay. Selena. Because yeah. even though she's technically a real mom, she's technically a fish's mom too. Did you mean like the like Selena's mom from like the movie? Yeah. Would that not count? Who was it? Okay, I, I, I scratched. I don't want her no more. I just thought about the one mom I want. The mom from George Lopez. I want. <laughs> <laughs> Like George Lopez's wife? Yeah. Oof. God damn. God damn. I just won. I just won. I just you want to do a trade? No. No trade. Not on that one. I, the best I can do is, is Rambo Johnson. We can do that one. Or you can even go with George Lopez's mom. Because she was gangster too. She was? She, she could throw down. She could throw down. She could throw down. <laughs> Man, if I oh man, that's pretty fucking solid. That's a damn good solid. Uh, you just fucked me up with that one pick right there. I'll be honest, like, the rest of your list is so so for me. But that one pick just fucked me up. Well, Rambo uh, Johnson and, and what's called it? Dale's are really good moms. I'll, I'll be honest. If I had to do any, if I if I had to do one, I would I would seriously think about getting rid of. Fuck. Like uh, the one on, on the outside looking in is Lois from Malcolm in the Middle. I thought about her too. I thought about her too. Michael Mill's mom. Oh man, but she was mean though. But she got shit done. That's true. She got shit done. She manhandled Heisenberg, kept his ass in line. Um, <laughs> that show is just a good show. It's a bro. great fucking show. That show is so good. She's on my show, but you know what, man? I just I, I can't because like I can't get rid of Aviv. She's a classic. Can't get rid of Sama Hayek. That's I mean that's just that's the only thing keep me going at this point. Uh, Mrs. Gump doing some do like she's one in the trenches doing dirty work. Yeah, yeah. And Mallory, I mean, she's behind the scenes pulling the strings. So I mean, I got I got my network going on. I can't fuck with it. I would have really. Uh, Lois is a, is a a fucking goon, the goon yeah. that I need. So if I took it, it would be I would get I would pull out Selma because she's the she's the weakest goon I got. Aviv, she's doing some work. Go ahead. I, I would have been very uh, thrilled if you would have actually picked. Uh, um, uh, kept uh, uh, Mallory Archer, but also picked the mom from uh, <laughs> Arrested Development. <laughs> that's pretty solid. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Uh, you know, I think I, I think I will uh, pick a sub. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and take out uh, Michael Keaton, Mr. Mal. Uh, <laughs> you can't stand on it. Stand on it. Well, you know, it's just uh, I, I like him and all, but I'm going to I'm going to replace him with uh, somebody who just has a, a unique level of persistence. And is used to some some crazy weird shit. I'm gonna go with Joyce Byers from uh, <laughs> Stranger Things. Will, Will. <laughs> Bro, it was so many. Y'all think I'm playing? I really did my own. It was so many moms that I had that I could have went with, bro. It was so many moms. I thought mm-hmm. about that precious mom for a while, but I thought it hit hard and it hit hard as I wanted it to hit. I mean, listen, man. There are plenty of moms out there, and they all deserve a shot. Mm-hmm. Can we do one like real mom, like in the entertainment world? Sure, pick two. Two. Sure, we want. We want we'll, one. Okay, we'll, that's fine. I can go two though. Oh, you can do one. That's fine. Go ahead. We'll I'll do go reverse. Two. You can go first. I'll go two. I go Britney Spears. Bold move. I go Britney Spears. Right. What are we doing? Picking an uh, actual mom. Uh, he said in, in the entertainment world. But. I don't want to do this. Like, everybody do this. My mommy. Aw, uh, gay. Aw, <laughs> uh, gay. Stupid. That's why I say in the entertainment world. So I mean, the one I have experience with. She's pretty good, so. <laughs> um. Uh, wait. No. No. I'm going to go with my mom. Uh, just because my only other thought was Angelina, just because apparently she just like has a dearth of experience, so she got all kinds of kids, all Black kinds, kids, of kids. Kid. <laughs> but we're talking about entertainment, not not personal. I don't know. Has to be an entertainment person. Has to be a well known. <sighs> well, that don't help. Entertainment. It's a celebrity mom. It's a celebrity. celebrity mom. We had two, right? I got my second one. 
I don't know. I guess I'm going to go with, with Angelina, like I said. Okay. So, I don't want anybody to fuck y'all ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike. <laughs> so, second one. Second one. Second one. I had it a second ago. Just a second. Just forgot it. Oh. I thought. What? Oh, yeah, I fuck with you. Michelle Obama. Okay. Okay. I, 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 let's do it. Brian? Uh, I don't like this part. <laughs> I don't know famous people. Think of a famous woman. She's probably a mom. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hold it. Hold the, it. The famous woman that Paul was thinking of. <laughs> um, you know who's pregnant? What? You say you know who's pregnant? Riley Reed. <laughs> Nice. Uh, I don't think I want her as my mom. <laughs> He's laughing. We're not drafting somebody as your mom. Just <laughs> oh, drafting moms. Moms, okay. Uh, I mean, she's bringing in 500000 500, 500, 500, a week or a month. She's going to be a great mom. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she ain't got to work no more. She got to network. Network. Nice. <laughs> uh, you want to come back to it? Yeah. When you Kim K, you got Beyonce. Literally, literally, every, every any actress out there has a kid. Scarjo probably has a kid. She does. She does. Yeah. All right, fine. Scarjo. <laughs> Held it. I'm going Kim K. Because I'm offending my dad. <laughs> you know what? Wait, you is got? it your dad? Is it your mom? I thought it wasn't your mom. <laughs> no, it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> no, but I'm going Kim K. You know, Pete Davis is your daddy now. <laughs> 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 Con- Kanye is that weird guy who keeps uh, keeps uh, uh, standing at the edge of your lawn and going, "Hey, hey, how you doing?" Kanye, the guy who's do stuff, daddy, yeah. do stuff, daddy. <laughs> so happy Mother's Day. She technically didn't have babies from uh, Pete yet. So wait for it. Uh, may the fourth be with you. Uh, happy single tomorrow. This is the May. This is the May. This is the May. <laughs> uh, join us next week. As we break down Multiverse of Madness and potentially lose our minds ourselves. Mm-hmm. And don't forget, we ended the last episode on um, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. I'm going to forget to watch it. We're in the last episode of the Moon Knights. Moon Knight. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to forget to watch it with Multiverse Madness out there. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Well, Moon Knight is really big I, on Black Twitter. I didn't watch Moon Knight until like yesterday. Moon Knight is really big on Black Twitter. Uh, how do y'all like the last episode of Moon Knight? I think every episode is getting better. To me. Yeah, I agree. Uh, favorite episode so far, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the first episode, had potent- like, I think, was probably my, my front runner for a lot of it. Um, but yeah, this one, this one did some work. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the uh, the uh, the scales at the end. You know who's gonna be a mom? Umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Rihanna. Rihanna. Oh, really? <laughs> My girl. <laughs> My girl. Good girl gone bad. Good old five head. Yep. That's my girl. See, uh, you want to switch her up? That's a big one for, 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 for who did I say? You said Scar Joe and who was the first one he said? Angelina. 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 Uh, Angelina. I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't understand the question <laughs> when I picked Angelina. So, yeah, uh, bye bye. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Riri and Scar Riri. My baby's gonna be dressed in Fenty. <laughs> <laughs> and you too. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That's show. Yeah, that's show. Uh, thank you for joining us. To my left has been PVRZ. Here for the first damn time. Yeah. Real, real quick, real quick. It was a couple Sundays, I um, mean, Mother Days ago. Um, this dude came up to me and he was like, Happy Mother's Day, you bad mother effer. <laughs> I thought that was so creative, bro. <laughs> you were just like, Yeah. I got to do this my thing. It's like, the, you damn right. Bye. To my right has been D Easy. The, the Mother Mother Slim. <laughs> uh, can I say the word? <laughs> Uh, I'm Ryan beyond your mom. Nice. Bye. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye. Bye. Side episode. Indeed. Thank you.